Hi dear students, welcome to Teacher at Home. Today class we are going to learn the third chapter, Human Resource Development in India. Observe the picture. You all can be seen and what jobs are they engaged in? Which are the goods and services made available as a result of these efforts? Listen the table in different jobs and the goods and services produced by them. Taxi driver, farmer. Arranges transportation. Farmer produces agriculture crops. Manpower is an important factor in making available the above mentioned goods and services. Therefore, human resource is necessary for the progress of any country. Let us examine some aspects of human resource development and its status in India. Human resource. Many goods and services are necessary for improving human life and the progress of a country. To facilitate this, the manpower of many of has been utilized. Human resource referred to people who have the manpower which can be utilized in the production sector. Increase in production and progress of a country can be accelerated not only if the human source is developed to the maximum. How can human resource be developed? Human resource development is the development of man's physical and mental abilities through education, health care and training. There are different levels of human resource development. Individuals take efforts to develop their own skills Family creates an environment for the development of the potential of individuals. Various institutions and agencies provide facilities for education and training. Nation provides the necessary facilities for its people to develop their skills. Features of human resource. What features can be considered while studying the human resource? Human resource has qualitative, quantitative as well as qualitative features. Human resource, quantitative and qualitative. Quantitative that is size of population, growth of population, population structure, population density, birth rate, death rate, age, sex ratio, labor force, participation rate, dependency ratio. Qualitative education, health care, literacy rate and, rate and life expectancy. Size of population. Size of population refers to the total number of people residing in a country at a particular time. A branch of social science that analyzes the population, the change in its size, structural aspects are known as demography. Every country collects the information on the number of people in the country, their age, sex, socioeconomic status, etc. and analyzes these at specific intervals of time. This activity is known as population census. In India, census activities, they are spearheaded by the Office of the Population, Register General and Census Commissioner. In India, population census is conducted once in 10 years. The last census was conducted in 2011. Information related to the population were collected on March 1, 2011. According to the census, there are 121.02 crore people in India. Out of this, 58.65 crore are females, 62.37 crore are males. Why are population studies conducted? Population studies help the government to quantitatively assess the different needs of the people and to plan activities and programs accordingly. What other help do they offer? Inform the availability of human resource in a country, depicts the extent of basic facilities required by the people, quantifies the goods and service required Determine the socio-economic development policies. According to the United Nations Organization Report 2014, the world population is 724.4 crores. 1 in 6 percent of the world population is an Indian. 17.5 percentage of the world population is in India. China ranks first in position with 19.4 percent and India ranks second. In terms of land area, India ranks 7th with only 2.4%. India and China can play a major role. Major role in making human resource available. It has been proved by the experience of countries like the USA, Japan, China that a nation can attain high economic development through better human resource development. Density of population. Inhabitation is not the same everywhere in India. We have already understood the factors that influence population. Density of population refers to the number of people per square kilometer area. This refers in various states in India. Population growth rate in India. 
population growth refers to the increase in the number of people in an area with a specific period of time. July 11, World Population Day. UNDP has declared 11 July as the World Population Day since 1989 and it is observed. This day was selected because this world population reached 500 crore on July 11, 1987. It is indicated in terms of percentage and states that increase in a year as compared to the previous year. Examine the table indicating the growth population growth rate in India. Year 1951 population 36.11, 11.11. Decadal growth rate of percentage 13.31, 1941 to 51, 1961 43.90, 1971 54.82, 1981 68.33, 1991 84.64, 2001 102.87, 2011 121.02. So every 10 years they are taking the uh, census. It can be seen that Indian's population growth rate has been declining since. 1971, the birth rate, death rate and migration are the factors that affect the population of the country. Observe the chart given below. Birth rate increases, death rate decreases, population increases. Birth rate decreases, death rate increases, population declines. Birth rate and death rate are equal, no change in population, migration. Population increase in one region but decrease in another region. Birth rate. Birth rate is the number of the live birth per thousand. Death rate is the number of death per thousand. Migration is the settlement of people of a region in another region. Population structure. Age structure is the classification of population in different age groups and presenting the ratio of each group in the population. For example, classification is done in age group 0 to 14 years, 15 to 59 years and 60 and above years. Given below is the age structure based on census of India. Population age structure distribution. Labor force participation rate is the ratio of the population in the age group 15 to 59 for either employed or actively looking for jobs. This age group has the capability to contribute to the progress of a nation. Age group 0 to 14 years, 60 years and above are included in the dependent group. Their proportion in total population is known as the dependency ratio. This group depends on the working force of the country. An increase in the dependency ratio decreases the per capita income. Many people in the age group 15 to 59 years do not have a job. This points to the necessity of utilizing the human resource aptly. The sex ratio plays an important role in determining the human resource of the country. According to census 2011, sex ratio in India is 940. Sex ratio it is the number of females per thousand males. So far we have discussed the quantitative aspects of the population. There are certain aspects that improve the quality of human resource. Let us look at them. Qualitative aspects of human resource. Population that can contribute to the manpower of the nation is its strength. What are the qualitative factors that improve the labor potential? Education, healthcare, training, social capital. Let us see the advantages in developing human resource. Productivity of the workers increases. Economic inequality is reduced. Entrepreneurship improves. Natural resources utilized effectively improved human resource. Social welfare is ensured. Make possible the development and use of advanced technology. Let us observe how each qualitative factor improves human resource. Education and human resource development. A mere increase in the population will not lead to the development of a country. It requires people with potential and skills. Education has a major role in modeling skilled people. Let's see how education helps in the development of a country. Observe the flowchart. Education improves the skills of individuals, better the technological know-how, helps to secure better job and income, improves standard of living. Ministry of Human Resource Development in India. A department operates for human resource development. This government of India started this department in the year 1985. Main responsibility of this department is to plan and implement the activities necessary for human resource development. Experts argue that at least 6% of the national income must be spent for providing facilities in the education sector. During the year 2017-18, government of India spent only 3% 3.7% of the gross domestic product 
GDP on education. Hence, the literacy rate could not be improved along the expected lines. Literacy rate referred to the percentage of population that can read and write with a comprehension. Let us see the project implemented in India to develop education and skills. Project Integrated Child Development Scheme ICDS Goals to ensure an integrated development of children up to 6 years. To provide health care for pregnant and lactating women. Samagra Shiksha Abhayan SSA to ensure universal education to all up to higher secondary level. To ensure quality and equity. To promote the vocational educational strength. Samagra Shiksha was formed by integrating Sarva Shiksha Abhayan and Rashtriya Madhavik Shiksha Abhayan to the teacher training institutes like ACRT and DIET. Rashtriya Uchal Shiksha Abhayan to increase access to higher education to improve the quality of higher education. National Skill Development and Monetary Reward Scheme to improve the working skills of the youth to ensure the availability of people with employable skills. Apart from this, several programs are also initiated by the state government. There are institutions at various levels to provide education in a country. School, colleges, universities, technical education institutions, etc. are among them. National Skill Development Corporation. In order to compensate the shortage of skilled people, NSDC has been given skill training in various fields such as construction, tourism, banking and engineering. Our country has made education a fundamental right and has passed the Right to Education Act, RT Act 2009. The Constitution ensures the goal of the elementary education for all through RT. However, the problem still exists in the education sector of India, which need to be solved. Certain sections drop out from schools without completing primary education. There is a lack of availability of basic facilities in the education sector. Quality of education has to be improved. Human resource development and health care. What is health? According to the World Health Organization, health is a state of physical, mental and social well-being. Along with physical conditions, importance is given to mental and social conditions as well. It is the government's responsibility to ensure health care for all. Only then can each individual work for the economic development of a country. Let us see how healthy persons can participate in the progress of a country. Production increase with increase in efficiency and number of working days. Natural resource can be utilized properly. Medical expense can be reduced thereby reducing the government expenditure. Economic development is possible through increase in production. Let's list the facilities to be insured for health care. Availability of nutritious food, availability of clean water, preventive measures, cleanliness, medical facilities, ensuring of leisure and entertainment, healthy environment. Various institutions operate to ensure the availability of above mentioned facilities. Government has set up institutions that work at different levels in the medical sector. All in the Institute of Medical Science has been established to make available the service of the best doctors and modern medical facilities. Now there are nine such institutions working in different parts of the country. Medical College, District Hospital, Community Health Center, Primary Health Center, Health Sub Centers. There are various hospitals in the cooperative and private sectors. Many multi-specialty hospitals operate to make available modern treatment facilities. There are several institutions which provide different systems of medicine like Ayurveda, Yoga, Naturopathy, Unani, Siddha and Homeopathy. Natural, National Rural Health Mission, NRHM, and National Urban Health Mission, NUHM, function to make available quantity health services to all. National Rural Health Machine operates in the rural sector. National Urban Health Machine provides improved health services to the residents of urban slums and other marginalized people in towns with a population of more than 50,000. As a result of these programs and activities, the life expectancy in India has been improved. Female 67.7, male 64.6, total 66.1. Life expectancy is the expected average years of life of a person lives. Various resources are, be, are to be used properly for the economic development of a country. We understood that the human resource is an important as a natural resource. 
when the natural resources are combined with human efforts there is an increase in production leading to economic development therefore plant efforts are required in the education and health centers to develop human resource only then can resources then then can the quality and development of human resource be attained so that's all about this chapter if you are interested please do like share and subscribe my channel okay thank you